needle decompression. Tension pneumothorax, a life-threatening emergency resulting from thoracic trauma or aggressive mechanical ventilation. As the lung collapses, a large collection of air enters into the pleural space. With no exit, this can lead to ipsilateral lung collapse with a mediastinal shift toward the contralateral side. When left untreated, it can impede venous return, reduce cardiac output and compromise normal cardiovascular status and hemodynamic stability. In neo decompression, it's important to gather all necessary equipment for the procedure. The preferred insertion site is the second intercostal space in the midclavicular line above the third rib or in the fifth intercostal space mid anterior axillary line above the sixth rib. Step 1. Identify insertion site and gather all necessary equipment needed for the procedure. You can palpate the ribs to look for the correct location or alternatively you can look for the angle of Louis which is in line with the second intercostal space. Step 2. After cleaning the insertion site, use the third rib as a backboard. Enter the chest wall at a 90 degree angle. Advance the cannula into the pleural space. And once you've got into the pleural space, advance it until you're flush with the skin. Step 3. Once entered into the location, hold it in place and allow air to decompress. You should hear a hissing sound. And then remove the needle and put in the sharps bin. Alternatively, if unable to access the second intercostal space, you can go into the fifth intercostal space mid to anterior auxiliary line above the sixth rib. We enter the needle above the third or the sixth rib to avoid any neurovascular bundles or major blood vessels. Step 4. Assess if you have been successful by oscillating the chest, checking respirate, O2 saturations and if the patient is more hemodynamically stable. Step 5. Secure needle in place using adhesive tape and rapid transfer to hospital. Additional facts. NICE guidelines state serious thoracic trauma accounts for 1 in 4 trauma deaths in the UK. This is more than 4,000 deaths per year. It is vital that we only perform needle decompression in a patient with suspected tension pneumothorax if there are signs of hemodynamic instability or severe respiratory compromise. Success of a 5cm 14 gauge cannula was deemed to be 80% successful in both the anterior 2nd intercostal space and the lateral 5th intercostal space. With recent studies showing the mean chest wall thickness ranges from 3 to 5cm and a cannula 4.5cm would fail to reach the pleural space effectively. Subscribe to the channel for more.